Happy New Year to you all. Today, my thoughts are turning to reorganising. With New Year comes new thoughts about organising spaces, decluttering and all of that sort of stuff. If I was at home, I'd be doing it there, but I'm not at home. I'm on the boat. So I'm going to be reorganising three new spaces. So I'm going to take you on the journey with me. I hope you enjoy what I do with these spaces. If you've got any suggestions as to how I could improve on what I've done, or maybe something I should have done differently, please leave a comment below. But if you enjoy what I've done and you think, ah, that would be useful in my house, let me know. It would be really nice to know that I've inspired you to do something in your place that I've done here. So without further ado, let's get into it. My name's Marianne and I am part-time boater. First is this space to my left. As you can see, we're not utilising the full height over here. And there's also a bit of extra room under the shelf here that we could use. In my last storage video, I introduced these white baskets and I did say that maybe at Christmas time they'd be filled with bottles of wine. However, the wine hasn't lasted that long and it's filled with treats, but not wine. So I'm going to be using a draw unit for here and an expanding rack for down here. The second space is this cupboard above me. And the third space that I'm going to be reorganising is actually our plates and coffee cups cupboard underneath the microwave, which is just down there. The first thing I'm going to do is to empty out this space and give it a good clean with some wipes. And that will just freshen it up and uh, make it a blank canvas for me to work with. So here goes. glasses I have an idea of where I'm going to put them. I want to gather all our glasses together at the moment. We've got some in the cupboard up there, we've got some down here, we've got some with the coffee cups and the plates. It just doesn't make sense. So let's see where they will all go and how it all looks. Now these pans are really really heavy so I have to take them down one at a time. So, let's clean the spaces. And the small one. And lastly, the colander and the sieve and the steamer. So now I'm going to put a little drawer unit in the side there and let's see what it looks like. So 
So this is the draw unit that I bought in Wilco's. And uh, let's see how it looks. I think it looks better already. I'm going to be filling these up with teas and coffees that currently get dried up above the cooker. So let's see how that goes. But what about this space down here? I have bought some expanding racks and I'll just go and show you those. So this is what it looks like. It comes in two parts and they operate really simply. You just extend it to where you want it to go and there you have it. Very straightforward. Now I'm not sure yet whether I'm going to have it on this side. over to this side but not have it out so far maybe or to this side in which case the, the biscuits and the teas would all fit on there or maybe at the back there I'm gonna have a think about it and I will show you what I have decided to do mismatched because the original set got broken but they still need to be stored somewhere so I'm going to put them back in here. They don't get used very often but when we have some guests they do come out and we do use them so I'm going to leave them there and I think all our other mugs are going to live in the same place just there I think that looks quite a lot better. So that gives us this space under here for things that we don't go into very much. And that's our little one person teapot. And this, believe it or not, has some Garsington Opera mugs, which are very nice, but we haven't actually used them yet. But they're going with the mugs anyway. And I just keep them in this basket. So now all the mugs are together and I think that looks so much better. I've also turned the dish drainer from this direction to this direction and I'm hoping that's going to work a little bit better for getting plates in and out but um, yeah we'll see how that works. And I might actually just put this on the other end. Yes. Now we have some eggs and they usually live down there but I don't really want them to at the minute so they're just going to go at the back here. And then we have salt and pepper and biscuits and tea bags and sugar. We don't use the sugar very often either so that I think the sugar can go up there yes Flan hello so the sugar is now up there do you agree good I'm glad you agree so I also have some tea towels and I think they can probably go hmm that's a good question. Where are they going? Maybe the sugar will have to go down here and the spare tea towels just on the side there. I think that's what's going to have to happen for that for the moment. So now let's fill up the rack here. And we normally put the biscuits and the crackers up there and homemade gingerbread cookies. 
and cake. And rice cakes. And there we have it. So that is space number one. I've still got all these glasses to deal with. And that's, yes, plan. And that's going to be space number two. So let's do that. The second space I want to reorganize is this cupboard up here. Now in it are various glasses, chai lattes, teas, coffees, and the toaster. However, the coffee gets really hard. I don't know if you can see that, but it gets really hard in there. So I'm thinking of taking all of those items and putting them into the drawers there. So I'll take them out of the cupboard first. So that's all the coffees and the teas out. Oh, all tea bags. And I'm going to take the toaster out as well and rehome that. leaves all the glasses in here. Now there are, this one I think we're getting rid of because I don't think we use that one at all. These were on the boat when we bought it and we have used them occasionally so they'll probably stay. plates and they were also left on the boat so they will probably go let me put those down and then we have some really nice drinking glasses which we do use my travel mug and these little glass ramekins which come free with cheesecakes and things like that and desserts. They all live up here. So as you can see, I have to hold the cupboard door up when I'm getting things in and out. So it makes sense to have things in there that we want to keep there, that are easy to get in and out, and I don't have to hold the door up so much. So I'm just going to give the cupboard a wipe round with some wipes. I need to get the other glasses out first. These happen to be in a tray. Whoops, lazy. Well, that was a bit tricky. But nothing got broken, not even my head. And then I'll just wipe it out inside. the other chopsticks are. that in the cupboard and now 
now I need to open it out to about there I think it is. It's quite wide. Let's see if that fits. see that. I've got the glasses in. I now need to get put in the glasses that we use every day. Wine glasses. We only have three of these. Did have four. But breakages happen. We have two of these. They can go over here. Oops. I did say we were keeping these ones. So they can go at the back actually, and these ones can go forward. And I think that might be it actually for glasses. My travel mug I might keep down. So that is the second space done and I think that's going to be a lot better. Now my only worry is that while we are cruising if we have any bumps on lock gates or sides I don't know whether or not those glasses will survive but we'll see. So that's stage two done. Mostly in the plates cupboard I know we have got some coffee cups and I think I may well add the coffee cups to that space there. So let's see how we do with that. So this is the third space that I have to organise. When I open the door it's filled with plates which are stacked one on top of the other and it's very difficult to get out the bottom plates without moving these others first. And then we have our bowls which are also stacked. They may have to stay like this though but it's really those other white plates that we need to sort out. And we have these little coffee cups which I'm going to take out because I think they need to be with the other mugs and things or the glasses. I think I might actually put them in the cupboard above the cooker. So I'm just going to take these out. We have two big ones and two little ones. No, four little ones, sorry. And oh look, more glasses. little saucers as well. So I'm going to put these in the cupboard above the cooker and I will show you what it looks like when I've done it. But in the meantime, I have a rack 
for these plates and I'm going to get it now and I'm going to fit it in the cupboard and see whether or not it's going to work as a space for us. Here it is. Now it's a corner cupboard, corner unit, but I think I think it may not actually go in fully into the corner like that or like that because that's going to restrict the plates from going in and out so I'm going to actually bring it forward a bit at an angle like that I'm going to put the small plates at the top Middle sized plates in the middle, big plates at the bottom. And they need to have enough space to go in and out. So the bowls will be set just a little bit further back. In fact, I don't think there's anything else to go in there. So, hmm. So I think that might work. I'm just going to put the coffees and things into these drawers. So, into this one, I put my coffee, ground coffee. That's it for the coffees. Into this one, we'll put tea. And when we buy our regular tea, that will go in there as well. In this one, we'll put the speciality teas and the chai latte, which also goes hard in the cupboard. One more coffee to go in here. So that is now full. And the last item to complete this space is my 1970s toaster. And there we go all complete. Hmm. So this is what the cupboard above the cooker is looking like now with the coffee cups in and the saucers and all the glassware is in the short ones underneath at the back, taller ones at the front and the glasses that we use mostly, which are these ones. We use these for water and for wine and everything. And the little whiskey glasses here. So that's what the cupboard is looking like. So this is what the space looks like to the side of the cooker. Got the drawer filled up now, the drawers I should say. basket is filled with goodies and here is the rack and there's two mugs missing because we have had some tea so there we go and then the third space have got has got our plates in it rack and the bowls are there and we have got some more bowls at the back but we don't use them as often and I think it should be fairly straightforward to get all of these things in and out so 
So that is my reorganising for today done. We have the space next to the cooker, we have the cupboard above the cooker, and we have the plates in the cupboard underneath the microwave. So like I said earlier, if you've got any suggestions as to how I could improve things, then please let me know. If you think you could utilise any of these ideas, then do let me know. I would really appreciate it. So that brings me to the end of this week's video. I hope you've enjoyed it and found it useful and maybe a bit entertaining too, I hope. I would like to thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And if you have subscribed, thank you very much. So until next week and next week's video, bye.